Hello, everybody. All right. So today's lesson, lesson 12.3, page 479 of your textbook. Our lesson title is Customary Units of Weight. So we're going to be looking at ounces and pounds as well as tons. And so how can you use models to compare customary units of weight? All right. So ounces and pounds are customary units of weight. How do this does the size of a pound compare to the size of an ounce? Okay, and you might want to have some color pencils just to highlight a couple of things on the number line. And so the number line below shows the relationship between pounds and ounces. So you see we have a number line, and on the top part, we have zero and one. So we're looking at basically one pound on this number line. Well, how many parts are there? in one pound if we have ounces as the units. There are 16 ounces in a pound. So use a color pencil to shade one pound on the number line. All right, so there's one pound, right? All right, step two, use a different color pencil to shade one ounce on the number line. Oh. <laughs> help if I actually shaded one one ounce, right? All right. I must be still asleep this morning. All right. So <clears throat> if we extend the one pound out, we can see the difference between one ounce and one pound. Okay, so how many ounces do you need to make a pound? We need 16 ounces to make one pound. So we can say that a pound is 16 times as heavy as an ounce. One ounce would be one sixteenth of a pound. Okay. Half a pound would be eight sixteenths. So the number line, how, explain how the number line helps you to compare the sizes of the units. Well, it's easy to see. The number line makes it easy to see. That there are 16 ounces. in a pound. So a pound is 16 times heavier than one ounce. Okay, I want to point out the abbreviations for ounce. Is abbreviated ounce, Oz, ounce, and pounds are abbreviated LBS, pounds. Okay, all right, page 480. So compare measures. Nancy needs five pounds of flour to bake pies for a festival. She has 90 ounces of flour. Can she determine if she has enough flour? How can she determine if she has enough flour to bake the pies? Well, she can make a table and relate the pounds and the ounces. So we know that one pound is 16 ounces. So how much would be two pounds? Well, it would be twice as much, right? So two times 16. 2 times 16. 2 times 6 is 12. Regroup as 110 and two ones. 2 times 110 is 2, plus the regroup 10 is 3, so 32 ounces. 3 pounds. 1 pound has 16 ounces, so 3 pounds would be 3 times 16. 
3 times 6 is 18. Regroup as 110 and 8 ones. 3 times 110 is 3, plus the regroup 10, 48. Four pounds. Again, four times 16. Could I just add 16 to the previous answer? Yes. Okay, because we're basically finding multiples of 16. When we find multiples of 16, we can either multiply by a counting number, or we can just keep adding 16 to each other. Okay, 48, 16 times 4. Regroup that as two tens and four ones. Four times one ten is four plus the two regroup tens is 64. All right, and five pounds would be five times 16. Five times six is 30. Regroup that as three tens and zero ones. Five times one ten is five plus the three regroup tens is eight. So 80 ounces. All right, so now it said she has, no, she needs five pounds of flour. She has 90 ounces of flour. Okay, so let's compare 90 ounces and five pounds. 90 ounces, five pounds is what? Five pounds is 80 ounces. Well, 90 is greater than 80. So she already has 90 ounces. She only needs 80 ounces. 90 ounces is greater than five pounds. So Nancy has enough flour. All right, how about this? There are 2,000 pounds in one ton. Okay, about the size of a car, right? Small car. Well, so one ton is 2,000 pounds. Two tons would be two times 2,000. Well, so two tons equals two times 2,000. Well, that's 4,000. Three tons is three times 2,000 which is 6,000. So if I have one ton, how many times as heavy as one pound is that? 2,000. 2,000 times as heavy as one pound. Page 481, number one. Four tons equals how many pounds? Again, one ton equals 2,000 pounds. So four tons would equal 2,000 times four. So 8,000 pounds. So what did we do? We thought four tons times 2,000, and that gave us 8,000. Five tons. Okay. One ton equals 2,000 pounds. Five tons equals five times 2,000. Five tons equals 10 thousand pounds. Six pounds is how many ounces? Okay, so how, how many ounces are in one pound? 16 ounces. One pound equals 16 ounces. All right, so six pounds would equal six times 16. 16 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Regroup that as 3 tens and 6 ones. 6 times 110 is 6, plus the 3 regroup tens, 9. So 6 pounds equals 96 
ounces. Seven pounds. Seven times 16. Again, what is the relationship? One pound is 16 ounces. So seven pounds would equal seven times 16. 16 times seven. Seven times 16 is 42. Regroup that as four tens and two ones. Seven times one ten is seven plus four regroup tens is 11. So 112 ounces. Six tons. Okay. <clears throat> What's the relationship? One ton is 2,000 pounds. Six tons equals six times 2,000 pounds. 12,000. Six times two is 12. Thousand. Okay. Actually, fairly fairly uh, easy conversions, right? Okay. All right. Now we're going to compare using greater than, less than, or equal signs. It's one pound, fifteen ounces. Well, we know one pound is sixteen ounces. So a pound is greater than 15 ounces. Two, ton, two tons compared to two pounds. Well, one ton is 2,000 pounds. I kind of think two tons is going to be just a little bigger than two pounds. A little heavier. All right, number eight. A landscaping company ordered eight tons of gravel. They sell the gravel in 50 pound bags. How many pounds of gravel did the company order? How many pounds of gravel did the company order? They ordered eight tons. Well, who cares about how they, how they sell it? Okay. So we don't need that. We just need to know eight tons. Eight tons equals how many pounds? Remember, one ton equals 2,000 pounds. So eight tons would be eight sets of 2,000. So eight tons equals 16,000 pounds. Nine. If you could draw a number line that shows the relationship between tons and pounds, what would it look like? Well, let's think back to the, the pounds and ounces number line. The larger unit was on top. The pounds was on top. So tons are bigger than pounds. So on the top of the number line, we would have tons. On the bottom, we would have pounds. All right. So How many units are in one ton if we use pounds as the unit? It would be 2,000, right? Okay, so we would have a number line that has numbers on the bottom. going from zero to 2,000 pounds. On the top, we would have zero and one ton. The one ton would be in same spot as 2,000. All right, so if we had a number line, okay, 
Okay, so that's what I'm saying. We have zero on the top and one on the top because we're going to have one ton. And here we would have zero pounds. And at the end, we would have 2,000 pounds. Okay. All right, number 10. Write the symbol that compares the weights cor correctly. 160 ounces is what to 10 pounds? Well, I could divide 160 by, t by 16 to change it to pounds. But it's actually probably easier to go 10 times 16. What is 16 times 110? 160. Well, those two are equal to each other. How about 600 pounds and 3 tons? Well, since there's 2,000 pounds in one ton, 600 pounds has to be significantly less than three tons. Can I prove that? Sure. Three tons would be three times 2,000 because one ton equals one equals 2,000 pounds. So three tons is 6,000 pounds. Okay. 6,000 is, again, just a little bigger than 600 pounds. All right, page 482, number 11. Alexis bought a half pound of grapes. All right, half pound of grapes. How many ounces did she buy? One pound equals 16 ounces. Half a pound would be one half of 16. What's one half of 16? Eight. So half a pound equals eight ounces. All right. Dan drew the number line below to solve the problem. He says his model shows that there are five ounces in half a pound. What is his error? That looks like his error. Are there 10 ounces in a pound? No. He said there are 10 ounces in a pound. should have extended his number line to 16. Draw a correct number line. So we're going to have pounds on the top. We'll have ounces on the bottom. And we're going to have the number line going in between. We'll have one pound up here and 16 on the bottom. 15, 14, 13, 12, so on, till you get to zero. Okay, and so half of 16 would be 8. All right, so Alexis bought 8 ounces of grapes. Look back at the number line you drew. How many ounces are in one fourth pound? So, <clears throat> if we took this 16 and broke it into four equal sections, 
So we can think of fourths as four groups, right? That's what one fourth means. And we have to share the 16 equally into the four groups. So we can do that one at a time if we wanted to. All right, that's eight. 12, 16. How much is in each group? Four. So every four lines is a fourth. So how many ounces are in one fourth pound? Four ounces. There are four ounces in every one-fourth part of 16 ounces. All right, so that's it for lesson 12.3. The next time we meet, we'll be talking about customary units of liquid volume. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.